something that I can remember. <laughs> oh, are we live? We are live. Hey, we, we back. It's the Lifestyle Night Party. I'm comedian Aisha Brown. And I am Tana B. I'm Hey, everybody. Hello. All right, we back. Okay, so let's cover business-wise, business-wise. So I did order a shipment of Hope Lips. Um, it'll be here in a couple of days. I got a couple of colors. If y'all want some, let me know. We can order it one time. The way we everybody don't got to pay shipping and handling separate or whatever. Or if y'all see me, selling this for her. I am. Oh, I am, and I have it on. I have on Hope Lips so myself. We'll just make six or seven strings of income for you. <laughs> I haven't reached seven because they said when you get to seven, you're supposed to be a millionaire, and I haven't really reached a thousandaire yet. So <laughs> I'm going to have to do some more streams, some more streaming, or I don't know, stream a little better. Some something's going to have to happen. So I mean, these are the lips. Yep, I'm too old. These to... are made by Vaseline. I'm just <laughs> what... those are hope lips, and you could put yours on top of Vaseline. I don't want that on you. you don't want no glitter. No. See, I like I a let, little. I let hope. I like, I like a little shimmer. I like a little shimmer. I like a little bling. Ain't nothing regular about me. I'm a hairstylist cool. by nature. So I wouldn't say regular. Just I'm like regular. You, like if you have on your Vaseline, that's what I normally do is plain gloss. But if I want to kick it up a notch, then I'll put this on top. That's cool. I mean, that's cool. I yeah. just don't do it. You don't? No. Oh, you that's gotta, it matches your, eye, your uh, eyeshadow, mm -hmm. your outfit. And Tana, that's what you do when you're pretty. You don't have to do all that. Extra well, stuff. I ain't gonna say all that. You know, I just wouldn't raise no makeup, so I just don't. I ain't never made time for it. And see, yeah, my mom was, was always in the mirror. I had one of them. You better. You better go put some lotion on and go on somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> no my makeup. My grandmother didn't play that. No, buddy. What is we? We need to go ahead and get started with our interview because we have gotten sidetracked. Okay, so let me talk about how I know my guest, and then I'll let you see her. Her name is Camille Gray. Hey, Camille. Uh, Camille does uh, what we call a women's empowerment brunch. But I think it's kind of more of a mix of me. There's men that come and yes. arrive sometimes as well. Sometimes I open it up to men. Yep. And it used to be at Ryan's at first, and they closed down Ryan's. Right. It's a brunch, so we go early in the morning on Saturdays once a month. So we okay. can have breakfast and lunch for one price. Ooh. Yes. Yep. Smart lady. So you can get some chicken, you can get some waffles, you can get some, some ham. In the next one, men are going to be invited. Yes. Well, let me let you go ahead and see her, but that's how I know because I've been to the brunch before. I've been like maybe two or three times. Yes, you have. Okay, so what inspired you to begin the brunch? Well, actually, I was having a conversation with John, and he was telling me that's that. John. Um, it's like Camille, you know, you kind of have a little following on Facebook and, you know, women look up to you, so you should do something, you know, for women. So I came up with the idea because I love Ryan's. So I was like, well, I'll have a brunch at Ryan's. You know, I can eat two meals for the price of one, network and bond and socialize and build relationships with women. And I've been doing that for seven years. Okay. Okay. So since Ryan's is closed now, where is where are you doing it at? At Golden Corral. Okay. Yeah, the last time I met up with you, we were on the west side at the one on High School Road. Where we is that where we was, or what was we on? We were on East Washington. This Washington. Weekend. That's Saturday. That's a shame. I don't. I don't. I'm hungry and thinking about it. <laughs> Man, that breakfast was good too. To the next one. Okay. okay. Yep, yeah, because you're gonna skip September. Because October is your seventh anniversary, yes, right? Yes, I started having the brunches in October, so this October will make seven years. So um, I'm taking September off, and October will be a seven-year cool. um, anniversary, anniversary celebration. So that's why I'm opening up to men. When we have the men there, we have a battle of sexes, so we have debates, friendly debates. But the women always win, but we do let them have their say. Do we always win, or is it because we right and they wrong? That too. Uh, we win because we're always right and they're always wrong. Oh. <laughs> okay. But we listen to them. Wow. And shout out to your co-host. You have a co-host coming up. 
uh, that's going to be on the event as well. Anna Crawford. Yes, Anna. She is my biggest supporter. She hardly ever misses a brunch. Sometimes it may just be me and her there. I mean, it's it's a voluntary thing. People that, you know, I invite everyone. If you can come, you come. If you don't, you don't. So sometimes I may have 30 people. Sometimes I may have three people. But if you come, you're guaranteed to have a good time, good conversation. We're going to eat. We're going to laugh. We're going to network. And um, a lot of women have met at my brunches and developed friendships. That's good stuff. And that's a good time to come and network. Yes. Bring your business cards, your meet business some other cards. people. And then you could go ahead and speak because we were in like a private room. We didn't just sit out in the lobby with everybody else. We sat back in the private room. Yes, sometimes I have speakers. Um, most of the times I always raffle off a gift card or gift bags. Um, I didn't this past Saturday. I was rushing. I had everything and forgot to grab it. But um, I usually raffle off something. But for October, since it's the um, anniversary celebration, we're going to have numerous gifts. All right, numerous gifts. Yes, numerous. Since it's, and mm -hmm. what's the date again of the event? October 14th from and, 10 a.m. till 12 noon. And what lo which location? Um, the Golden Corral on East Washington. Okay, all yes, right, all right. Long. And if you're listening to this, you're definitely welcome. Mm. Anybody, anybody. Anybody but a dead body. Anybody so when you say empowering women, what do you want to empower them to do? What do you want them to well, know? Well, I want them to... Have self esteem. I want them to not depend on a man or even a woman or anyone for anything. Um, I want them to feel good about themselves, confident mm -hmm. when they wake up in the morning, love what they see in the mirror. Um, don't let anyone tell them that, you know, their value is based on someone else's criteria. You know, I just want them to be empowered and love themselves and you know, have love for everybody. Treat people the way they want to be treated. And see, that's funny when you talk about networking. So, back here, here's my friend, Lindsay's Healing Hands. Hello. Okay, so I know her from Diamonds Are Forever. So, when you talk about empowering women, she did an event, and Diamonds Are Forever, um, that's what it basically was about. Women who have been through something. We come together, we had a, a good word, we had some good food, we had some wine, we had a nice time, and it's going to be another one. So that's something that you might want to consider speaking at since you're interested in empowering women and you yeah, do that. Definitely. And then that's something, that's Jamela's area. I'm a comedian, I'm funny. I'm, I'm probably going to corrupt y'all. I'm going to empower you to probably do something funny to somebody or get on their nerves a little bit. You know, I, I, I'm i a little ratchet. I try to use my powers for good, but sometimes it goes awry. Yeah, you but yeah. Too, being empowered. Okay, 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 okay. Shamela, what do you think about that? What do you, what do you consider empowering women? She calling me Shamela, though. Shamela. <laughs> um, she basically hit the empowerment on. Um, a lot of women, which was you're not the only one, feel like you know they go through a lot of things by themselves. So when they get with another group of women who have been through similar or worse, they feel that they can overcome a lot of things. They can get out there and, and do more. Like I was in a, a a marriage for a long time, longer than I should have been. And if some if something would have happened, I think I would still been in that marriage right now. But getting out of it and actually being out of it now and actually moving forward and being on my own, it's like, okay, that was the best thing that could have happened to me. And they say things happen for a reason. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm a firm believer in when God say move me or move, he make you move. Exactly. So I was made to move. Okay. And then I'm concerned. Yeah, I, 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 I'm I'm not that ratchet, but I empower a lot of young women. Most of the young ladies that are around me, they end up starting some type of business. Or, and I, I mean, it's not that I'm stuck up or that I'm a comedian, but like coming up, if you think about it, most women had some type of self-employment income back in the day. Your mama sold Tupperware. Right. She might have had a husband and didn't have no job and didn't go to work. She babysat kids. Mm -hmm. She did something to bring some type of income into the house, and it was her particular business. She was doing Mary Kay parties. Some to people, mama cooked sweet potato pies. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So, I mean... I think every young young woman, I want to empower them. Not necessarily, yeah, God put you on the earth to get with the man, and y'all supposed to come together with y'all's money and be successful and raise a family. 
But meanwhile, build yourself to be the woman that for the man that you asking for. If you want a ball player, well, I mean, get out of high school. Okay. Well, I mean, maybe he want to marry somebody with a college degree or a good head on their shoulders right. and stop trying to go to Dr. Miami and thinking that shit is cute. Okay. And then they got the love. I mean, I got one daughter and I have sons, so I have to do the balance. But, you know, I got love and hip hop and stuff on TV. I'm so glad my kids is big because I couldn't explain none of this shit. They gaying on Empire. <laughs> right. You know, the girls, everybody got ass shots. If you don't got no booty, you ain't right. shit out here. Right. You know. Yeah. How are you supposed to have self good self esteem exactly. with that stuff on TV? Right. Well, Everybody got to be exotic. They don't want to put no plain old black woman in the video. You got to be Arabian, a <laughs> Taliban, um, a Chinese, or something yeah. to get on a damn video. What happened to the the round the way girls with the bamboo earrings and okay. and, a, and, a, and a ribbon in her hair? You know, let's get back to that. I'm they like upgraded. The Chinese stores not upgraded. Yes, and I'll be getting raw with them. I'll be like, y'all sucking dick at uh spin the bottle at parties and stuff. I was 26 when I gave some head. Somebody tricked it, tricked me into that shit. <laughs> right, now, babe, that's just and, part of sex. and he was paying card yeah. notes and all type of stuff. And now y'all just give it up. I'm like, I ain't got no hope out here because y'all just giving yeah. up threesomes. Listen, a threesome was an indecent proposal. A man showed up with a briefcase. And the shit went down in the hotel. Everybody got paid. Wasn't nobody talking about it, looking each other in the eye. Hell, y'all go on Facebook Live and doing threesomes now. Yeah, they live. They live with it now. How you done had a threesome at you 21? Well, what you going to do to turn up when you 30? Right. You bored if you don't give your man a threesome. Okay. Your kids can, can just Google and order a copy of Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't want my kids seeing that. That's how you be fucking when you in your 40s. You don't do that in your 20s. Right. You going to be bored as hell when you get 30. What you supposed to do with your coochie now? And you been getting tied up and pinned to the wall and shit right. at 19. That's you get it uh, redone. Slow down. That's Slow down. Get it redone. That's why they rejuvenating the, yeah, and they steaming rejuvenating. the coochies. That's why. See, we didn't need all that. We didn't. What's what's the product right. Andrea got with the coochie? Oh, the pearls. I, I didn't need no Yanni ball. Yeah, I didn't have no. Oh, no. I washed my coochie and my underarms with the same Yanni stuff, Yanni and it worked out. Yeah, now, that, that, you that's know, crazy. they need a separate soap for their coochie. Because your coochie is sick, that's why. <laughs> if you can't wash your coochie with the same stuff you wash your neck with, something wrong with you. You don't, you don't get enough water. Because, yeah. If the coochie's spitting out that usher shit, it's over. I mean, oh, damn. before you get to that, and then they be talking no, about man, bacterial infections, oh, it's yeah. something I ate. No, it's somebody that you did it to, exactly. and, and they didn't have no condom on, and they be messing with nasty girls, and now your coochie stink. So you have to be careful. <laughs> That's all about empowering women. So you empower them your way, have a brunch. I'm going to tell them some funny raw dog shit. <laughs> okay. I like that, too. Yeah, strap up, because dudes will have your coochie stinking. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Man. No, hold up, hold up, hold up. They got some chicks out here that's in the fish game, too. That's why they some, fishy because they don't. These women are fishing through the clothes now. Now it's a lot of women out here. And then somebody come with the dipstick. You greet them. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you greet them. Them. I mean, let's be honest. Musty balls. You got to get to the clothes to, to smell musty balls. Not necessarily. Fishy smell. Fishy smell will catch you two doors open. Yeah, because if you got on basketball mm -hmm. shorts and you sit on there, whoosh, the air come up. I, now, I musty balls be all in the car. Right. Like, let me go put these balls in the shower. Like I don't, I, I don't even like the smell of my own basketball. Balls. So I, I, I feel sorry for y'all. Now, if they're but musty from work, I'll, I'll accept musty balls from work. Like, if I'm picking you up from the construction site and your balls is musty, work musty balls. Yeah, I, I ain't yeah, got nothing to say. Because I know that check going to be right when you <laughs> right. get to the house. <laughs> and we're going to clean your like, balls baby, you that day, baby. Baby, I'm going to wash your balls for you when that check lands. Yeah. You got four games at the local park and you lost three of them games. I know you washed up this morning, baby. Let's go on to the house. I saw you in the shower. Do a hard enough job if you lost one game out of four. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get that Me and then loser. You and now they got skinny right. jeans, so like, I, oh, you know, the nuts can't breathe no more with no. Skinny I didn't jeans, have those no. conversations with my kids, so I'm glad my kids are big. I told my son he better not come in with no damn skinny jeans on. I would beat his ass, and then I told my daughter I'm gonna wear them. Embarrass your ass. But, but you know, now as I get older, I start to realize as a guy, I start to wear more uh, pants that are more exact. 
You know what I'm saying? What's exact? Like, Tight. Like, 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 because, because when I was, when I was younger, I was a husky. Dad kid. jeans. Oh, you don't wear the huskies no more? No, I don't wear those. That was, that was Wrangler. Hey, that was, that was from you know, Sears. Like, yeah. She said Wrangler. So, that's what you wore. Had the husky. You know, you when we went shopping, my mom's going to have to go get the husky jeans. Hey, we're going to go ahead and excuse Camille because she has empowerment mm. activities to get to. Thank you, yes, Camille. Right. Like her on Facebook. Thank you for coming over to the Lifestyle Night Party. Thank you for having me. Now, I mean, the, are, are we, you going to, like, because I really do want everybody here to come. If they, I want to go. If, so, if that's my Saturday yeah. off, I would definitely be there. How are we going to get them there? Are you going to get the information to them? Because I don't think I'm Facebook. I'll friends. find you on Facebook. Well, yes, okay. because we're going to have an event and share it. We just don't have the event set up yet. <laughs> okay. But, yes, we you like breakfast. Up. You don't have to beg us to come and eat breakfast. Okay, okay. okay. I'll be there. November, no. November 14th, Newbie uh, Radio family, uh, we're having a brunch. October. That's what I said. You said November. November. Shit, both of them. We're gonna be there in November too. We're gonna, we gonna do it now. Boom, boom. So October, November the fourteenth, we meet for brunch. Okay, Corral. Yeah, if the fourteenth ain't a Saturday, just fast forward to the most available Saturday, the closest and one. Put it up because uh, that'll be nice for the newbie family to go out and have a nice. Yeah, yeah. And, have I like a... Way, and I like the way she's pulling the halfway pistol over. She's sticking them up halfway with the breakfast and the and they, they, got, right, okay. like they got they got baked fish. I like okay. baked fish and little eggs too. Okay. And they got cotton candy. I like cotton candy. That's why I actually do like that. Yes, yes. Thank you, Miss Camille. Thank you, Camille. Are you gonna come over and speak to us? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I was just letting you know. Hey. Okay. Well, now we have another interview. What's we happening? have. Yeah, Mr. Grice, Mr. Grice, Mr. Grice, Mr. Grice. That's me. Now, I'm going to let you tell everybody about what you do, what your business is, and what your background is. Uh, I smoke crack. I, uh, oh. do, no, I'm, you still I'm doing just, crack? No, nah, I quit that. I quit that. <laughs> I had to. I had to start dehydrating. Now, I was going to say you got back thick real quick. Because you, I don't know. You can't tell with crack no more. They be big and little on crack. I mean, they, they be on heroin and molly. You know, you back in the day, was this only certain drugs. Now, it's a lot. I don't know how people post to look on them. Actually, I've been free for almost five years now of liquor, cigarettes. Woo! Okay, because I, I do remember the turn up, John. I have been knowing you that long. Uh, he from my neighborhood. You already know. I and my up. nephew are best friends. So, yeah. Tana B knows about the <laughs> turn of John. <laughs> still a comedian, really. Oh, because I was gonna say was. I mean, yeah, I'm still funny when I want to. Okay. You, you know, she didn't calm me down a lot. She said, "You've been center stage for too long. It's time to settle down and pass the mic." Yeah. No, you just <laughs> no, you change your topic about what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, but I still like. I don't know how to. I don't know how. Yeah, they pull out the old me. You know what I'm saying? I get. I get excited. Most preachers were sinners before they were preachers. And then so the ones true. that was the grimiest be the best ones. <laughs> to me, I used to smoke crack. And they be, they be the closest to the Lord because they be like, oh, you done did everything. You, <laughs> you was out here selling dope and, you know, went to jail ten times. And then they be like, I done came to the Lord. And they be the closest right. to the Lord. <laughs> Some of them, so I'd be like, like you, be like, like, yeah, you have been to hell for like two days. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he give a little sign for them to pass the plate and for the hoes to go to work. Hey, plate, hoes. Oh, then it's a, a whole row of women get up and they start walking out. And, ah, ah, ah. No. They still got, they got to get that sign money. You know, they say all pastors got to sign. Down. They got this time for them to go to work. He's not <laughs> no more. <laughs> <laughs> Your appointment is Tuesday. It's <laughs> stopping. 30 a.m. <laughs> Everybody's at work, but you. <sighs> <laughs> but tell me about feeding the homeless. Oh wow! So let's see. Let's, I'm gonna tell you from the top, from the top. Okay, that's what I want. I had a cousin. We used to gamble in my house all the time. Just about eight years ago, and she used to come over like, "Cuz, y'all sold all this shit in the community. You know what I'm saying? Y'all over here gambling all this money. Y'all won't do nothing for nobody." She's like, "Won't you come and help me feed the homeless?" And I told her I was like, uh, "Well, when the coats don't play." Come and get me, and I'll go down there with you. So she was coming to get me every week, and the coach was playing. And then one Sunday, the coach had to buy. Mm -hmm. So I was like, all right, I'll go with you. So I went down there. I think we fed about probably about 15 or 20 homeless people. So the very next week, she came over. The coach had an 830 game. So I ended up going down there again. I was like, all right, I'll go again. And the very next week, they had like a, a Monday night game. So I ended up going three weeks in a row. 
and it was like God was trying to sh tell me something. And it was crazy, so I was like, all right, I, I get it, I get it. But I was still in the streets, so I had a lot of followers, you know what I'm saying? Because, mm. you know, when you, people think you got something, they, they catch on your bandwagon real quick. Mm. So about eight years ago, we I had a, a group. A whole lot of them were sincere, but some of them was bandwagoners. And um, we started feeding the homeless. And um, some of the brothers came to me like, you need to incorporate, man. We can, you can do something on a bigger magnitude. And right when I was about to do that, I got locked up. Wow. I got locked up. And um, when I was in jail, I think the ninth day while I was in jail, something came over me and it was like God said, um, I'm just sending you down to clean you up because you got big things that I'm going to do. That's Instantly. After that, I was cool. Took away took away any urges for liquor, cigarettes. I smoked cigarettes for 20 years. I drank liquor for, how old am I? 45, for 40, 40 years. I think I came out. Yeah, it in the yeah, well, I you wait a minute. <laughs> you went down five years. Are you 45 or 40? I'm 40. I'm 45. She got you guessing to see what you, you yeah. like. Yeah. I, I just don't like telling the truth. <laughs> you know what people look in the sky and lie. Don't, don't look like up here in the sky for no lie. Don't. How old are you? I've been like, I'm on yeah, my third 40th birthday. Yeah, that's what I'm I keep having on my 40th. Level. Yeah, my birthday goes well. I, my 40th was good, so I just keep doing it. I have an anniversary of it every year, so don't worry about that. We're talking about you right now. All right, so <laughs> so while I was incarcerated, this brother named Nazir Jones and um, I know him. Chaz Fox. I know him too. And um, Darwin Coach. We incorporated the him. Father's Foundation. I was still locked up. So I was excited when I was in jail, like, yeah, that's what's up. When I come home, I'm going to take off with this. And that's exactly what I did. Came home and just, just hit it head first. And um, started doing a lot of things in the community with the Fathers Foundation. Um, what do you do for the fathers? For the fathers? I tell you, well, right now I got I like, like daddies. <laughs> when I say the Fathers Foundation, this is, this is something that a lot of people get confused. When I say Fathers Foundation, that's like father, you always looked at as a guardian. Somebody that, that took care of the household. So when I say the fathers, a woman can be in the, the father's foundation. Yes, the it's father. just it's a guardianship over the community. Okay. That's what I mean by the father's foundation. You know what I'm okay. saying? So it's just time to take guardianship over so the So women is included too. We ain't, okay. Exactly. And plus it was a way. Because I was going to come over here and check out some of the dads, but okay. Well, I, plus I, it was a way to, to directly <laughs> check myself because Hi. I haven't never been a what you would call a, a a role model father. The way I was raised, my father showed me love. We was real close, but it was distance. Like, you know what I mean? I love you, and I, I accepted that. And my mother, she raised all my uncles and aunties, so I never really had that relationship. So growing up, I never really learned how to be a, a good father by the standards, you know? I always been in my kid's life, but they always been able to rebel against me for things because I just wasn't a good father. Mm -hmm. And that's just point blank. So the Father's Foundation was always a reflection for me to check myself. They're going to be bad anyway. You know, Even so, if you're a good father. These, yeah, all these kids. Yeah. Right would don't have all bad people. No, no, no. Talk about it. Right and if you really love your kids, wake them up out they sleep and whoop their ass because right. they done did something you didn't see. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the first step. That's the first step. So then... Um, <laughs> Got the Father's Foundation going, and then um, just dealing with a lot of older mentors, I started an LLC. It's called the Father's Foundation Community Solutions. So those ways they can work together. So right now I'm just in the shadow. Um, I'm getting all my executive plans together. Um, I got three different projects. I got a youth program. It's called YEP, Youth Empowerment Program. It's called the YEP Program. Um, I have a, a homeless uh, or less fortunate program that I'm working on. Um, I'm let's go to back to the YIP program. What are we empowering the youth to do? I want to know more about those youths. Um, I've been working with a lot of the um, young brothers in the community. Um, this is a young guy that I closely work with, Ace. Um, I have good relationships with the Ross. So with the YIP program, it's, it's, it's basically a networking program. It has a lot of elements that I don't want to talk about because people run off with your stuff 
Real talk. Yeah, it has we a know. lot of elements Being to it. And so know. I can really get it out there. But um, basically, what it is is it's a it's a solution program. It's like okay, um, such and such have this problem. Well, we know Keith and them over there got a program over here. You can just jump straight into that. Mm -hmm. Well. Um, She's having problems because her brother got killed. Well, Mothers Against Crimes over here got a program. So we're trying to learn how to spider network. Referral service. There. Referral service, yeah. yeah and try to keep all, get all the groups to working together. Because one thing here in Indianapolis, everybody, I don't know, let me, let me correct that. Because it is a lot of groups that work together. But it's a lot of groups that, that have the resources to help out a lot of groups that don't. You know? You got this one group that got got a grant for a half a million dollars, but you got all these grassroots groups over here that don't even got a thousand dollars that's already ready to go. So why wouldn't you just pull them in? Right. They're already ready to go. And make it all work together. Yeah. So that's what we're working on now. Um, and then, as you know, with um, Chaz Fox, we got um, Seven Figure Clothing. Yeah. We got a little clothing line. Um, the professional fat boys be rocking that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know. Why I don't got a shirt? I don't know. I gotta um, say something about. It. I'm gonna have to call Human Resources or y'all's the president or who the president of Seven well, Figures. Chaz is the CEO. You know what I'm saying? He's he's the uh, graphic designer. He I can't get everything. no beater or nothing. Oh yeah, we got him. We got him. <laughs> we got him. Definitely got him. Okay, and it's, tell me about Seven Figures Clothing. So was that to, part of the Father's Foundation or separate? It was separate. Um, um, Taz has a great vision, too. He's one of, our, he's one of the business partners with um, the Father's Foundation, too. So. Shout out to Taz Fox. Yeah, shout shout out, to out to DJ Remy. Shout out to Derek Shelton, because he said he DJing for the coast today. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Oh. I didn't know they let short people DJ. I know they must have let him. Wow. You know he probably went under limboed up in yeah, there because yeah. he's short. <laughs> got up under the. Post earlier, he was at the snack bar four hours before the game. I said, "Y'all gonna do fast so like that?" Yeah. I'm gonna tag him to that. Let him know he got yeah, lightweight barbecued on here. Yeah, I, I saw him DJing with his feet swinging. At, at, I don't, where were we at? And I, it just tripped me out. He, he was he was spinning what is too. He a midget? He, he, you know, he, he's kind of a he tall came down midget. Here with Remy, remember? <laughs> So he's not quite a midget. Remember, it was two of them. Two he's guys. Just, he's very he short. By himself. He can, Remy came twice. Last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they came together, though. I think Tyler wasn't here. Maybe that was the week you were out. Yeah, yeah. Boo caking. Yeah. 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 Boo caking. He's, he's real aggressive. He like a chihuahua. Like an easy bake you know? up? No, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So if you say something about his height, he want to fight. You know, oh, yeah. Real he aggressive. Got short complex, then. Yeah, he and he you had, know it, and you do it intentionally. Yeah, he had, he had yeah, 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 yeah. See, yeah, wow. Because he wants to fight, but he probably can't really fight. Yeah, he probably can't fight that good. All yeah. right, so what do we gotta do to get the foundation back going? The feeding the homeless. When do you have an event coming up? Um, what does actually, New Beat have to do actually, to back you? We feed the homeless every Sunday. Uh, we meet at the office. It's thirty-three, thirty-three, Illinois. We meet at the office at one thirty. Mm -hmm. uh, we prep sacks, and we leave the office about 3.15 to 3.30. We head downtown. Uh, we feed, like I said, 100 to 150 homeless. Uh, for the last three weeks, uh, it hasn't been, we haven't been doing anything because I had a, a, a close relative. My father passed, and um, I just had a lot of family issues to get back tight, get back together, get myself back mm -hmm. together, really, because that was, that was my dog. But, yeah, um, I'm sorry to hear about your uh, dad. That's good. He's he been messing with me since he's been gone. He's been coming back. He's 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 still around. He's still a jerk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a little toy in the house, and it's crazy. Uh, me and Camille be in the house, and every night around 10:30, it just goes off now. It's crazy. I that means I'm here. I ain't gone. Yeah. But he'll do it about 10 times in a row. He won't just let you know. He'll, he'll irritate you with it. Your so dad's a poltergeist. Oh yeah, he's, I'm he's, probably uh, gonna haunt my kids. I'm yeah, pretty sure. And I, I sit there and I, yeah, I, I promised him pretty night, much. Every night he does it, and I'll be like, I'll be like, so you ain't got right, to get rid of the out. toy. Huh? Is, it, is it his toy? No, nah, it's my it's my grandson's. Oh. But his name's John Grice too. He's, he got uh -huh. my daddy name. Uh, okay. But it ain't scary because I know his daddy. So right. it, I just be like, man. Is it in a closet? No, it just sits in the living room. So my father was in a closet, but that's where his stuff was. And he only showed up when I was in turmoil. Well, that's a lot of people in the closet, you know. So. 
Well, <laughs> he, he, look, he, he was in there with a sheet on. He wasn't in there with no other man or nothing. What a sheet? Like Boo, like, like a queen? ghost. Like Annabelle, the scary ghost people. I don't know who Annabelle is. I be, man, y'all have y'all seen Annabelle? <laughs> Mm -mm. Ah. But, but I do I do want to do a plug since we're right here. Um, um, September the 30th, we're doing, I've hooked up with some brothers, and we're doing something that we're calling the Brotherhood. So we're doing a fishing trip at Pine Lakes. Oh. September the 30th. We're taking, um, each mentor can bring two kids, and um, we're taking at least 20. Right now we got... 10 mentors and 20 kids. So 30 of us is going. Um, so I can't come okay, and fish? Any, any man? Yeah, we're, we're looking always, for, for men that my, we my, just... My friend loves to fish. Right, I wanted some fishes. Brotherhood. We're just going to all night sit up. Bravo. Um, Bravo. The prices, the prices, if anybody else is thinking about or want to get in contact, it's, um, it's $125 uh, for a cabin and it it fits six, six people, it sleeps six. Um, you get 50 of it back, so it's only 75, so it's a good price. The kids, uh, 15 and under is $7, 16 and over is 20, and that's for the fishing. Mm -hmm. But if anybody would like to um, donate for the young the young kids, uh, we're looking for fishing pole, any type of um, bait and tackle. Um, okay. One of the brothers is putting together a GoFundMe because um, to raise the money for the food. And things of that nature. Um, it'll be some on my page, the Father's Foundation on Facebook. Can you tag me to it? I definitely yeah, will. Definitely. And me then too. we can be a location where they can drop off um, fishing poles okay. uh, for the kids, and then y'all can just come pick them up. Right, so. I, I, I probably got my own fishing pole. I like to fish, so mm -hmm. yeah, I do. I love the outdoors. I actually, I have the, fishing the, and camping and cabin kids. I the love the cabins. Um, probably last year I had a lake behind my house. But that don't mean like. Ask Nasir Jones. He used to come over there. He mm -hmm. used to fish. A couple people have been over there to fish behind my house. Mm -hmm. And I sit out there and I smoke in my chair with my pole and I wait until a fish come and I get my catfish so blood from smoking? Walmart. <sighs> medicine. You said meth? Medicine. Oh. He said meth. Oh. Herbs. <laughs> herbs. Oh, okay. Herbs and, and, and spices. Herbs Indian, and spices. Call an Indian tree. A little bit of oregano. <laughs> a little bit of cilantro. Spinach. Broccoli. It's some some people call it broccoli. Now you were talking about. We ta had a conversation where you were saying about feeding the homeless. Now you're a vegan. You don't eat meat anymore. Oh man, that's rough too. Cause it bothers me, and I and I I go through. It bothers me too. I like meat, but go ahead. Well, no, mm -hmm. that don't bother me. It bothers me feeding um, the less fortunate meat because I've did so much research about it, and I actually just lost my father to cancer. So that's that's another thing about it, and. Um, I'm not going to get all deep off into that. Yeah, because I'm on the pork chop right now. Mm -hmm. Well, on the comedy <laughs> level, but on the comedy and the educational level. So you want to, you say that a bologna sandwich is not good for you. And bologna, no meat. No meat at all. No meat at so all. So like, what would you, what would be in the, in the vegan homeless <laughs> sack lunch? Let's talk about that. Mmm. Cause so me, know, if I ain't ate in three days, I want I want a sandwich. But go ahead. Vegan sack lunch will be different than a vegetarian sack lunch. Couple of celeries with peanut butter. Uh, a vegetarian <laughs> sack lunch would probably be peanut butter jelly. Um, Mushroom sandwich. Uh, um, maybe <laughs> an apple, an orange. I mean, um, a bag of potato chips. A vegetarian, but vegan is a little more deep, different because it's it's actually with no dairy mm -hmm. either. So it's a little different. No dairy. I'm, I'm, so you can't get no cheese. I don't consider myself a vegan because I Eat I'm cheese. more of on an African bio mineral diet. It's oh. more plant based. Okay. So I try not, and I slip sometimes. Don't, what did you eat for lunch? Ah, uh, a mushroom sandwich and what else? <laughs> actually, I don't eat that much no more. Believe it or not, broccoli salad. My, I don't get hungry as much as I used to. I probably. Breakfast once a day. Um, egg whites and spinach. But actually, I ate a I ate a veggie I ate a veggie burger today. I ate a veggie burger. That's the only thing I ate. A veggie? Did you have bread on it? Um, or I was had, it veggie bread? I, well, I had flatbread. 
put it between two cucumber slices and ate it. <laughs> I mean, I bring I'm a back. comedian. I'm, I'm a fuck with you. That's what I'm going to do. And, and when you have an asthma attack, I'm going to giggle too. You I know? ain't <laughs> never had asthma. I can breathe. I'm just fat. Yeah, I can breathe. I don't even be breathing I'm hard. Too, I'm like a now, if I, if I run, I might breathe hard. And that's breath, out of breath. B R E A F. Breath. <laughs> Y'all ain't never been out of breath. No, I ain't never been out of breath. You ain't never been out of breath? <laughs> Shamayla, have you ever been out of breath? You ain't never had a good session with your husband you with for like seven years? Hey, I got done. You was out of breath. Like stink, yeah. Yeah. No breath. Stink. That's when you right. the story, man, and she hit me with that morning breath. That breath. Yeah, yeah. breath can stink. Breath can stink. Like or you can not have no breath. And when you have asthma, you don't have no breath because your, your pipe closed up. <laughs> but you know, if you ever had somebody with that breath that hit you with it, like you was dating the person and they hit you with that breath. He was like, damn, I can't believe that breath. No. Nope. And then they had to make it up to you. Like, you got to hit me with about three or four good breaths. No, how about that? Oh, you need an antibiotic because you got a dead tooth in your mouth breath. Oh. That's the breath I don't like. Your morning breath ain't you, you smell breath. sick in your mouth. You yeah. need to see a doctor breath. So it's all kinds of different breath so with an F. Sour <laughs> sour but not, not running too far, but um, I'm working on it. Um, you be running? I'm working on... You eat veggies and run? Food. Look at you. You I'm done put the it. liquor down and the cigarettes? Come on now, John. Man, I don't... No, no liquor, no cigarettes. Good for you. Um, Camille, do my, he still be having sex? I bet, I bet he have sex. I don't want to be with him. She said No. You want to be with me if, we want, if I could? If we want to be with me? What the point? Camille's I'm vegan. She, she got the vegetarian. Camille, you know what, so, 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 <laughs> let me tell you something about, I'm gonna tell you something about Camille. You keep I remember. Oh, yeah. and this is I'm, I'm sorry I put y'all out there, but y'all put yourself out there at the brunch, so I felt like it was cool. So go right, ahead. So we, we, we eight years in, so... Yeah. Y'all like each other, okay? Yeah. Y'all over there, okay? Some, most of, yeah, we like each other. A little bit, but um, a lot. A Does lot. she eat cucumber sandwiches with you? Yeah, she. That's what I was just. Camille, saying. you be eating the she mushroom just, sandwiches, girl. Don't you see her? Hair? Look at her hair. That's how her hair is curled up because she be eating. Natural. She getting loved on, natural. and she's eating mushroom she's, and veggie burgers. She's very she's conscious. But I remember, and, and I'm not, I'm not knocking any other um, people's um, thoughts. But she's, her growth is, is highly, she under, she deals with her health a lot. Do she be out of breath? <laughs> no, no, no. She said, nope, 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 she don't never be out of breath. That, no, that's not true to say never, but. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I'm just saying. She, she, he said in his Kelly Rogan <laughs> voice, he made you lose your breath. We only lose our breath on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, he, she said you better hush up, bro. You ain't. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got a budget. When you got to get up, you got to get up, you got to get up. Hey, you don't want to oversleep because you got a good night. Now, I've got, you ever had that one night, a night where you got to be like, Later than you normally would, two, yeah. three o'clock in the morning. You got to respect each other's jobs. Please, thank you. Man. So, have you ever got fired by some good sex? I have. I've taken an L. I will definitely not do that. I, it was it was it fired? wasn't on purpose. Like, you overslept because yeah, that was your last you know, your party, last, yeah, you know, your last <laughs> and it got good. And that one person knew to hit you up in the middle of the night. They drunk, tipsy. Come up to the crib. I got fired because of a good drink. <laughs> <laughs> like, I ain't gonna put this bottle down back in the day. So you know, you would be drinking at work. I ain't gonna put my cold. Yeah, I used to drink there. on the roof. You know, I was a I was a union worker. We, used, I mean, I'm telling them on this too, but we used to. We used to get drunk on the roofs. Have beverage. Yeah, have a beverage. <laughs> People have fell out. That's why they started to get Mexicans to do that. They go for all of them. And, and, if you, and if you think <laughs> they, <laughs> they got a whole, <laughs> eight, they got a pack of Coronas up there. Please believe. Can we get the sports commentary? And then we just going to cut up the rest of the time, I guess. Yeah, we are. What's going on with the Colts? Because y'all know I don't know nothing about no football. They playing well, you know at night. I'm, I'm, I'm still doing my blackout. Yeah, I'm on like, blackout. Even though I like the sports, I'm, I'm, I, I do. See, I'm, I'm, but I'm I lightweight cheating, though. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm lightweight cheating. We got it. Because. I like tailgate food, though, but I don't watch it. We got to go get it.
we got to go pick up the fam. Oh, okay. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for coming. Come back anytime. Y'all got more time. We here each Thursday. Tag us to the event. We'll be there. We got the 14th. Hi. I told the 14th. We have a brunch. Okay, Corral, bang, bang. And fishing for the kids. Take your kids fishing. September the 30th. To the cabin. September the 30th. Right, like, September the 30th and October the 14th, right? Yes. Y'all yes. next week. Then. And we push it for November 14th, too. Follow right. my page, um, the Lifestyle Night yeah. Party. Um, I'll be sharing it on my page. I'm comedian Aisha Brown. John Gray. Camille Gray. Uh, Linda, you want to join us over here at the table? Miss Linda, Miss Linda is about to meet, about to join the category. <laughs> okay, so speaking of our vacations, you know, I know I'm doing the Cuba thing. Where's the last vacation you went to? Because I know you and your wife be going places, Mike. Nowhere. Um, got babies and bills. Um, the last place I went, honestly, man, was uh to California with your ass. Wasn't y'all in Chicago or someplace we like that? Oh, shit, yeah. But you know what, though? That was such a quick turnaround. We went down there for a wedding, and the traffic was so bad it's that you spent most of the time in traffic. In traffic. Like, Every we day. barely made it to the wedding. Oh, and man. And then we, when we got to the wedding, we went to the wedding. Okay, cool. They had a reception, but we didn't go to the reception because we wanted to eat some Chicago dining. So okay, we so L.A., that starts again. I think they're taking deposits September the 15th for that. And then this year is shortened. Oh, so they, short. they took a day out, and then they're going to add a basketball game. They're still going to do the party bus. So they're going to do the... Are the comedians playing? Or they got yeah, to... yeah, but it's for, you know, it's mostly men. Uh, I'll get out there and play. I'll get out there and show them something. I mean, yeah. So I'm cross over down, you know. And I'm a representative, so I, I asked to... Um, I, I, I'm a, I'll, I'll just update y'all. I'll mm -hmm. just update y'all. But, yeah, we're, we're going to be there and represent... I think Indianapolis needs to definitely make our mark because, like, okay, so me and Mike done being, and I mean, just to give y'all the background, so now we we know what the playing field is. Right. Go, go. I know how to go about it once. And, and we've seen y'all. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, like, different people come every year, but the thing is, it showcases, it's gigs out here, it's exposure. Now, the good thing about when you pay up front or you do your deposit, the sooner you get it paid off, you get to pick for your gig. So, like me, I ended up at Flappers. It was wild when I went to Flappers and came out on the stage. Wasn't Hope sitting there with Reno? Reno, damn hype. From Indianapolis. Yes. Yeah, I seen him at Cobb Show. I have to talk about that. Oh, he's <laughs> in town? He, yeah, he's here. Wow. Yeah, Reno Hype is here. But when I went out on the stage to perform, I picked a gig. I picked Flappers because it was supposed to be hosted by Tiffany Haddish. Mm -hmm. So when I got there, I, something happened. She didn't end up hosting it. Lunell did. Show. Oh. She was doing that show with Carmichael Well, you, you know, they all on tour now. They're doing the girls' night out or something mm -hmm. like that tour yeah, together. Special. Have you seen it? I have been seeing this it on Netflix. Is, uh, I want to say it's on Netflix, but I caught it on like Showtime or something. It was funny. It was funny. I'm going to Google it. I'm going to Google it because, yeah. Shout out to Tiffany Haddish. But I, that's, I picked that club. Now, <laughs> you so picked a different club, Mike Shaw. You did your uh, performance did at... J.F.E. Brown's Guess what I heard. You know it closed, right? It closed down, yeah, yeah. Guess yeah, what? Fun? It well, did. It did. They closed it. But it's about to be back open. She said by the time we come back for the Comics Friday convention, yeah, it's supposed to be back open. And the food was good, but it was hot. Ooh, yeah, them was some L.A. prices in J spot. Mm -hmm. You know how they got the two item minimum. You know, Morty's are how you get a couple little tacos, little burritos or whatever, a little taco salad. J spot was like, we got these greens, we got this macaroni and cheese, we got these wings, it's $10. <laughs> We're like, damn. But, yeah, you get to pick where you do your showcase at because she picks a couple of different clubs around L.A. for you to go to perform. And that's part of your showcase. So, I mean, that's part of the price of the convention. You get the classes. You get to perform. And then if you do good, you get gigs. That's how I ended up at the OGs of Comedy. That's what's up. Yeah, so, I mean... Um, the convention, I think, all OG. together is $300. If they've ever Googled some comedy classes, acting classes, or anything, one class is $300. Boom. They give you all the Easy. You pay Easy. But, yeah, we got other stuff to cover. Um, you went over football already. We got Did rid of... Football? Oh, I just said I'm blacking out. I'm blacking out the, uh, the NFL, but I'm being sneaky. 
I'm, wa I'm not watching the games, but I'm watching the previews on ESPN. Is that fucked up? Yeah, that's yes, still, it is. That's that's still Okay, but, but no, no, no. But see, the way you got to look at it is, see, they get paid for you watching the games. I'm watching ESPN because ESPN, while I'm watching the highlights, I'm not, I'm supporting ESPN. But if there's a game on ESPN, <laughs> I'm not watching ESPN. And, and it's still a part of football? No, 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 no. Because no, none of the owners read. own ESPN. <laughs> So right. tell me this. So what do y'all think about trans transgenders in the military? Be, me being a comedian, when I seen that come can, across the news, I was like, go for real. This country, no matter up. what you are, bye. As long as you can man up. I, don't I ain't going. Will you, 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 yeah, you, will, will you fight or will you <laughs> win me? <laughs> will I fight? Well, are, they gonna, are the transgenders going to fight or win me? But that's what Hell, I want to ask. That's they can fight. They violent. They, they can violent. fight. They go man. They go man. It depends on what circumstance they get into. You know what I'm saying? They snatch them lace ones. If you want to go transgender yourself into the military and go to war, Deuces. So do you want a, 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 a thing full of uh, Caitlyn Jenner's fighting for us? I don't hey, give a damn who's fighting. As long as it ain't me out there. They're going to be in the lake <laughs> with hand-to-hand -hand combat and somehow or another they're going to find a knife. Oh. <laughs> okay, so is it? You know they're going with that little knife. Is it? Is it me or is North Korea keep on popping their thing off at us? Because like when you let off a missile, I okay, I ain't really letting it off nothing. To me, that's like a nigga in the hood to keep on just in the middle of the street. Yeah, bow, bow. I, I got this. Yeah, I'm just letting y'all know. Yeah, ain't that like what they doing? The guy with the big dick keeps pulling it out. Wait, oh, fuck see you got the big dick. Put the big dick back. Damn. Why is everybody seeing this? See, that's why I be telling my oh son. Don't, don't go nowhere where other man's balls is at. If another man's <laughs> balls is at, you shouldn't be there. You should not be there. <laughs> Stupid. Dick Gregory passed away, y'all. Yeah, we still miss yeah. Dick Gregory. Rest in peace, Dick Gregory. Yeah, we sorry about that. Um, the weatherman, Dick Gregory? <laughs> He's a comedian. Yeah! <laughs> Jerry Lewis died, so it ain't no more than Jerry Lewis telephone. No, they not going to stop telephone. That telephone been around The next person that takes it over is going to be putting money in their pocket. I'm just saying. Jerry ain't going to be overseeing it like that. Somebody going to be like, here's $2 for Jerry. Here's 20 for me. $2 for Jerry? Shit. I don't think no. they gonna be able to do that. I'm just saying, hey, people. Um, money, man. That whole foundation like, has been like, like around for so G. long. Coleman, just like the Susan G. Coleman Foundation, like, dude, them ladies was. Whenever your CEO changes up two times a year, somebody got their hand. Well, in yeah, the somebody doing something. Because they get, they get, you get a 14 million dollar signing bonus like a fucking athlete, and then you quit the job in six months and get an eight million dollar buyout. Did you just really? Did you just really make twenty two million dollars? You didn't in even have to steal, though. Uh, just, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. What, what do y'all think? Just get it and go. Well, it's terrible about what happened in Texas. I'm glad I, I got in and My out of there. Right in Texas. Oh yeah, I'm gonna post a picture on Facebook later of her front yard. Unfortunately, they were able to drive to Austin to her daughter's house. Okay. Four. Four. But the car, her neighbor, I guess they were brave enough to stay, but her neighbor sent her a picture of her house. And there was a car in front of her house and the water's all the way up to the window. Like mm. an SUV. Oh my goodness. So she's like, Look, imagine what my house is like. On the and inside. They even, yeah, they can't even get home to see it. Mm. So they had to drive to Austin. So lucky they got out in time. Because she said the high, even the highways on both sides right. were almost mm -hmm. flooded yeah. when they were driving to Austin. I'm going to have to check on my people again because I, everybody I just talked to was in Houston. That's, That's where, where my I friend was living. Yeah. She was oh, in Houston. Yeah. She had to drive to Austin to her daughter's house. The lady I did the live with, she was in Houston. Wow. I checked I on her earlier in the week and she was like, it was water outside. Her yard was flooded, but it wasn't none in her house. Yeah. Well, that's how she started. When she left, the water, it was enough of them to get out and drive away. Mm -hmm. But then today, the picture she sent me, it was all the way up to a, a SUV's window. Damn. So, so what would you do? That's you, just like, that's in three days. You mm -hmm. go outside to get ready to go to work, and it's a gator outside. I ain't going to work. I was looking at the news today. I, I said, so you, 
you and they, shoes. And they, and they down. <laughs> Look at them here. You you want to play with me? Look, I got and shoes and they, and they down in the water jacket. with their eyes sticking up like this. Uh, yes. Like, hey, no. I'm just Let waiting on somebody to. I said, Lord, the get the gators done washed up in folk yards, Lord. That ain't. Now that's terrible. So shout out to Belly Moore. I got one of those Android boxes, and I've been scaring a movie in myself to death. I I want to discuss. Y'all have seen scary movies before? Uh, uh-uh, I don't. I don't do that. I, well, let's think of it like this. It, I, I, you've seen Freddy. You've seen Nightmare on Elm Street. Mm-mm. Not even that. back in the day. You didn't. Mm-mm. You didn't watch Poltergeist. Oh no, girl. Gremlins. The Gremlins, maybe. <laughs> but I don't do. I don't do that. Really okay. Well, I don't know. You can't even doing. watch it in my house. Hypothetically. I think about these movies and I watch them and my kids be saying the same thing. They be like, you know, this would be a different movie if everybody in this movie was black. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. They be staying in the house too jump, long. Be There's a few niggas I know. It'd be two or three niggas that would jump Jason. He wouldn't have been able to get away. Y'all gonna whoop Jason? Well, you know what? Look we here. we are <laughs> the Ooh. Caucasians are nosy. Now, we got some nosy folks too. Like our we, culture. but they are too no. They want to go straight to the action. We hear some noise that's not opposite. normal. <laughs> We're going the opposite way. <laughs> we not wait. We w- w- did you hear that up in the attic? Well, but let me go what? up here, Susie. Give me the flashlight. Let's go up here and see. Go up here and see how. No, I'm gonna be right here with my gun. What's, and if it comes through that damn ceiling, it's it's gonna be a done deal. Even if it is normal, it can be normal. But you just caught me off guard. Like. This was not supposed to happen at this right. point in time. So, right. so <laughs> something's going to happen. No, I'm not getting ready to go try to figure it out. What though. about 47 feet under the sea? I said, I, I thank you, white people, because there's no ru- there's no way I would know what's 47 meters under the sea. Well, we ain't going 47 meters. Yeah, was it sharp? I'm not a swim, so I'm not getting in the water. I mean, you know, if y'all was waiting on like us to go fish, find out, I'm just no. gonna put my feet in. That's as far as I'm going. There's two different types of notes. There's, there's two different types of cultural nosy. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, like we got people, you know, that they, they want to say y'all don't make your beers. They blind nosy. Yeah, we be like, yeah. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> they blinds are all tore up. Yeah. My blind got a little bin. I'm nosy. <laughs> you know, but, but I got, we, y'all got, we got, we got the, the culture of the black people. We got, hey, man, I got this new drug. What you got? We got that kind of nosy. White people got, hey, man. I think that's a fucking well under there. Let me go see. see it's different types of nosy because we don't we won't know shit about the ocean if it wasn't for white people. Ain't no black Man, people. we would have never found no octopuses. <laughs> we, that, we that so whales is big, but that's if they was down low, we'd have never seen no damn no. whale. No. Unless you ain't up at the top. You know, um Loch Ness Monster. How come no, we, we never seen them? Because we, we, I, I ain't seen no Bigfoots. I done lived by the woods no. plenty of times. Because when you don't look right, I didn't, I didn't call something out my preference. Uh, yeah, we just don't go yeah, this way. Okay. okay. No. Listen, Eagle Creek, when we used to go to Eagle Creek as kids, we had picnics out there, 4th of July, everything. Mm-hmm. It was roped off. Of uh, you are not do not go past <laughs> that little bottle. Yes. The only thing that's going to happen, the fish going to get on you. On this side. You know, whether it was a bluegill or a cat. Don't fish, get under the don't line. Don't you go over that damn line. And I mean it. And do you go over that line? Did y'all, y'all see did, did y'all see where the sharks that caught a whale? He the, the sharks that caught a whale and ate it up, but it was kind of close to the shore. I forget where it was. I seen it on the news. All the water was bloody. Everybody jumped out the water like, what the hell? It was a big a whale. Well, he, a whale ain't close to the ain't close. To he was land. close enough to where they could Why see him, and the shark had got him. It was on the news. Too big to get too close. Yeah. Well, the somebody Maybe posted a video. It, it was either a whale see. or a seal. It might have been a seal. I well, think it might have been a little. Yeah. 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 Seals are not that big. I can see. But the water was bloody. I was like, oh, that could have been a person. And posted a video in Houston. Sharks getting. Yeah. They you will. See, a shark will come to land quicker than a than a oh, well. whale will because whales whale are just for humans. Sure. But a, but a shark will try a whale. They don't care or care about them being big. They they don't give a fuck. Somebody posted a video in Houston this week during the flood. As they were live on Facebook, there was a shark. A shark that swam yeah, the and it's in the oh, live video. Oh no! Nah. My window would have been rolled up so <laughs> Seven, six would have been out the window, and I would have been pushing the panels in the battle. Because you know they are on the ocean, they are on the Gulf. So I seen a, a post um, 
there was this guy who was camping. I don't know if y'all seen it, it was on Facebook. And he was just out on a little trail and a mama bear and her three cubs <laughs> came. So he's videoing live, but he's walking backwards the whole time. Oh, like, I bet. Oh, I don't. I don't. Yeah, so he they, had to, you they, know, they, he they had, they had to run backwards. Uh, but he was like, I just want them to just veer off, just go off into the woods. They were not going no, off. He didn't have no fried him. chicken to throw the other way. So was they following him? Why was he in the woods with no, with no Well, they were camping. He was I, you know, that's right. I mean, that's right. That's right. Because niggas, we okay. going with like guns. I was going to say, they got AKs out there in the woods. I go camping. But I, I had some protection. I did a little I marathon. Not to I've been camping with the thugs. They got AKs, I nine millimeters, and all types of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Where's the exit? A street in here? It's time to go." I mean, nothing. so there's a lot like Annabelle Dow. Okay, I'm gonna throw that in the trash. And if I if it come back in the house after I done put it back in the trash, guess what? We moving out that whole motherfucking house. Okay. We moving out the neighborhood. Yeah, probably the kidding. state. Okay. <laughs> I'm saying, like, just Y'all need to pack that. What do I need for school tomorrow? Get that shit. No, no we ain't worried we about school, school or none of that. We leaving well, everything. See, everything. No everything. No, everything can be replaced. Okay. okay. Our lives can't be replaced. Okay. We're taking her to a scary movie, my child. We're gonna oh, kidnap her and make her watch a scary movie. See, I remember when I was little, I wanted all the dolls for Christmas. I had a baby that away, a baby this and that. A baby alive. I had all them babies one year for Christmas. <laughs> and after that, I never wanted another baby doll. Because you and had I, them all? Yeah, I, I guess. Because I had them all and I never, ever, ever, I don't even, my, I don't even think I bought my daughter a baby doll. Let's see, if you. I sit you facing one way and I don't bother you and I come back and you facing another way, you got to get your ass out of my house. I'm going to tell you, I had I to take my kids thing. in the house. Mm -hmm. You I walked in the house from work, work a teddy bear and she had a baby oh, alive and it was Ooh. crying Ooh. in the closet. I left him to the basement. I walked back out the door like... He wanted to have a conversation in the middle of the night. Oh. And he oh. wasn't even on. So and Teddy Ruxpin... I, uh, it was in the tray. He wasn't no batteries or nothing in there? Nothing. Oh hell no! So See Teddy, that ain't up the Teddy Lord. Teddy had to, talk, to go. And Teddy had to go. <laughs> That's not up Teddy the Lord. Teddy was ready. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, after that, you said no more of nothing. And, and then when we went out, when we went to see Annabelle, we went to the movies, and we got the the Dolby seats. Why do we need Dolby for a scary movie? What well, the kids said. I got in that motherfucking seat. It was leather. Laid and it was back. laid back. And I had I my stand feet up well, like this. I hate this. going to the movies. It's so freaking loud. Oh, I love crazy. it. And, mm -hmm. and see, I'm into the side effects. Like, if it's a movie that's going to have a lot of graphics and stuff, I need the whole 3D, IMAX, Dolby, whole shit. I'll pay $20 to go see a movie in the uh, movie oh, theater. I can't stand loud shit. I'm, I'm weird the person like that. that likes scary movies, really, really like them, but sleep with the lights on. Yeah. If, if I go pee, somebody got to go with me. You go pee. Can I'm you going go to the bathroom with me? Yeah. What's <laughs> the scariest movie you ever seen? Sinister. Woo. Cause y'all messing with the kids. No, I say y'all. By far, is the scariest movie. As a kid, I, I have never them. seen that. But as a kid, Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. I was. It was used to be um, <laughs> the college theater was on forty forty first in college. Okay. Okay. And old school. Yeah, we lived on college. So oh, by the AFNB. My yes. mama worked at that I bank. I cried <laughs> to, for my brothers and sister to let me go, and my sister was like, "She don't need to go see this movie, mom." I, I mean, I'm talking about I had a fit because I would get my way. I was the baby. They take me to this movie. My sister was so shitty because I could not sit there. That motherfucker scared the shit out. Every time I hear it, I'll be looking around. I had to sit in the, My sister had to sit in the hallway with me for the rest of the movie. She was so mad. See, I got an eight-year-old. and She's real quiet it. into herself. And I watch Sinister. So when she in the corner salon, you know, make some noise. I shake her like, Mr. Boogie uh -huh. ain't getting you. You all right? <laughs> we get a come you ain't about, about to come, come up out the box all oh, folded up and shit. Look, you know, their kids, they was the outside kids. Their parents didn't play with them. That's how they, Mr. Boogie got them. Girl, come on, let's play this Monopoly. Let's do this. You, See, you you're not about to be no lo you're not about to be no loner. I watched Sinister. So I was like, nah. Mm -mm. I you can't even be in a home scared of like, Poultry Guys. Poultry wow. Guys. Wow. Like, I'm, I'm so my old. mother wouldn't let us watch stuff like that. We went to the drive-in back in the day. So we went to the drive-in. My parents took us to see. I had the hippie parents. 
So they, <laughs> they they smoked weed. My daddy wore dashikis and shit, and we just did all type of wild stuff. They smoked weed and all that. But we went to the drive-in to see Poltergeist as a family. Everybody would want to latch on to us. They're like, your parents take you to the library. We thought we had the nerdiest parents in the world, but they was like gearing us for education, I guess. Yeah, they did. <laughs> yeah. So we uh we, we went and seen Poltergeist. And uh, Poltergeist, have you seen it? Mm-hmm. Where they pull people to... So normally when we would come home from the drive, we would turn on the TV and watch Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live came on Saturday nights at 11. We wanted to see Eddie Murphy do Gumby and shit. Mm-hmm. That night we got home from Poltergeist. We didn't fuck with the TV that night. I mean, me and my no, sister, we laying in the bed like, you gonna cut on the TV or you gonna cut on the TV? <laughs> See, I'm just <laughs> scared. <laughs> guys, my daughter, she was about, my oldest daughter, she's about seven, eight, and we lived down the street from a <laughs> cemetery. And you know, plus guys, hmm. the how all the houses was built on top on of the top old of the cemetery. cemetery. And we were watching it one night, and I literally scared her shit. It's like, she, it was funny, but it was horrible, because right now, to this day, she's scared. <laughs> she's scared. Me I see. told her that the t- that the that um, they moved it down the street, but all the bodies are still up on the oh. house. So, and we live, like, literally down the street from I was like, yeah, all the, all the bodies are still up under all the homes, you know, over here. And, you know, she, her and she was like, eight. I'm, I'm scary. I'm, I'm very, I'm very scary. You scary. You don't mess scary. around. You don't no. mess around. See, I'm being whooped your ass because you didn't, you didn't step wrong. <laughs> I don't do all that. So but, you are. Would you do? A, would you go on a cave, a caving expedition? For what? Would you go zip lining? Yeah, I do that. I do that. I do that, but I don't I'm scared of heights. I'm little. See, I, I, I seen the descent, and I was like, well, why the fuck was some bitches in the cave any damn way? So, uh-huh. I, so the descent was about Sorry, a group of chicks, and they wanted to be the very first ones to find this cave. And you just just Google it and watch it. It was some shit in the cave, but like. There was supposed to be a map, and then when they got there, the lady was like, I oh, don't know, I lied to y'all. This is the very first time. Ain't nobody that's, ever been in that's this That's when before. I knew that this ain't where I'm supposed to be at, because yeah. you don't to get me here. <laughs> You're trying to... I'm not, bitch. I'm right. your ass for okay. last. We done drove they, they did out. try to fight her. Oh, they, no. they tried to fight her. And what yeah. we doing in the they, told them when they got inside the cave? No, well, uh, uh, once the they got inside, they got when in. she started going left, then she was like, oh, yeah, I'll, they ain't going to be looking for us because the map I gave y'all, it wasn't, we ain't where I said we at. Yeah, she would have been so beat up right there. So what did she want to do in the cave? She curious. wanted to be the first one to discover it and name it. She was so what did she have to take people with her for? Definitely. Well, they were going that's on a girls trip, and that's what they did. That was they shit. Look, we we on a girls trip. Girls, we're gonna get don't drunk. Don't you ever in your life come to <laughs> me talking about any kind of there, money there, there, there was trip. no penis, and there were no <laughs> niggas on the trip. Uh-huh. That's all I'm saying. Now see, me. I'm never gonna do a girls trip. Okay, so making up some shit. So like. Like for me, we're not going Cuba. Cuba. No, I don't no, think I want to go to that one. So like, I have the camping parents. I went to camp every year, so my kids went to camp. And my son, he's a model. He actually went in a cave and went on a caving expedition with this camp. And they took a picture, and they was like, "Oh, that's a good picture." They ended up putting it on the cover, or whatever. And I'm just like, Corey, we some niggas. I mean, we don't really do caving. That's not our shit like that. They was in West Virginia in a cave. I've seen Cujo. Cujo went in the cave and got rabies. So that just let me know I don't need to be in the cave. The bats bit Cujo. Remember mm-hmm. Cujo, the dog? The dog. And he slobbered on everybody and was biting people. Let me tell you about seeds. That let me know not to go in the cave. Because they got bats. I then didn't even go in my house because it was a bat on the door. <laughs> It so was a Halloween to... time, though. No, girl, oh. it was <laughs> a real bad. It was, it was during it the was day. I came bad. home. I'm oh. like, oh, wait, it's a bat. Because it looked like a rat on wings. It was a whole don't bat. Oh. It, a rat on wings. Oh, 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 if you see a bat up, up, up close, it looks like a flying rat. It got a rat yeah, body with one fucking one. wings so kind of. So I called maintenance. I said, hey, it's a bat on my door. They said, what do you want me to do? Uh, Come get get I want to get in my house, so you gonna have to. Go That's call why you somebody. Like, you have to get, give your cooter to somebody and have a I maintenance man on, on 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 call. Because if you don't have no sons, <laughs> yeah, you have to give coochie coupons to somebody. So then shit like if you need your toilet plunged, if your car don't start up. <laughs> You got to have somebody on standby, like a person. It was a whole I'm looking for a new person myself. Why don't you just call a bad daddy? 
Tell the bad daddy. The bad daddy. <laughs> I just knew that Cujo, he got bit in the cave and he had rabies. I didn't want rabies. Mm -hmm. And then these ladies, they go in the cave and it, when they went in there, was monsters in there. They was oh. pale monsters. They they because they hadn't been in the sun and they was biting people and drinking their blood. Oh, and I'm like, that's what the fuck y'all get? Cause who like goes this? in cave? Hey, so y'all just gonna walk out to the car with me tonight? Cause <laughs> yeah, I'm about to go to the car right I'm now. Scared. Okay, <laughs> I was scared of Freddy Krueger because I like to sleep. Like I've had a couple of beverages, so tonight when I leave, I'm gonna go to sleep. So imagine. Oh, uh, you worked out that you had a couple of beverages, but if you go to sleep tonight when you get home, Freddie's gonna cut don't, your ass. Don't scare. That scares me. That scares me. That's a good way to fuck with me is fuck with my sleep. I'm my, I can I run from you. I can fight you. If you're coming while I'm asleep, you probably gonna fucking get me. <laughs> You got me. If you try to get me while I'm tonight. asleep, eating, or having you sex. You have a lot of lights on in the house. Okay. I mean, I don't got no defense. What I'm going to do? I like to sleep. I mean, you, you ain't got friend, nothing about the bed. bed. Under the bed. I mean, Under the that didn't help. You know, Freddie, he you pull sleep. you into his world when his you sleep. World, yeah. And he cried. I ain't worried about those Maybe 10, 15. Because we started like, because you know, Fred, he want to tear your clothes up and shit, and then he, he cut your chest and with his, his claws. He got that glove, they got the knives. Who sits up and makes some shit like that? What's wrong well, my, with you? My friend, yeah, he got a monkey paw, he called it. So you a child molester, Listen, and you got a glove no, with knives? He took a Why? glove and put text in the inside of them. So when he put it on, all the text is on the outside. I had a boyfriend that was crazy. Yeah. So he wanted to fight my baby <laughs> he was daddy. Like, let him cuz he's he's a cook in the in the in the club. He was like, "Yeah, let him fucking come here. Oh, my monkey paw is." <laughs> so I'm, I'm cool when he working. <laughs> my like, friend, you know what I'm saying? Cuz we got monkey paw this motherfucker. My friend, he took his he tore up a glove and put like a rag and soaked it in bleach and tied it around his knuckles and he was like, "When I punch him in the eye, they going to go blind. I'm going to whoop their ass." Old school but shit. But you gotta, you gotta be ready Old to fight. I mean, are you just carrying bleach with you? No, cause like somebody had called. They, <laughs> he was arguing with my baby daddy on the phone. Oh, okay. And they were gonna fight. And so That's I was like, bleach. "Well, what are you doing with this gotcha. rag and soaking this rag and this bleach?" And then he tore up in little strips, like straight little strips, about this wide. And then he laced it around his fingers like a boxer almost. And he had his fist. I'm like, "What are you gonna do when I punch him in the eye and this bleach in his eye? He can't see." I said, oh, that's some dirty shit right there. <laughs> I, I ain't like fight no. Now, I, I, I got a what? cousin who carry a can of corn in a sock in the back of her, in the back seat of her car. A can of corn. A can of corn. I heard she, of I've seen her beat some bitches up with a can of corn. <laughs> Like and she, she left handed, so they not expect. Yes, I'm serious. Was she it cream around. corn or whole corn? It don't matter. It was a yeah. whole headache when the bitch got done. I can bet. You imagine getting hit with, with a, a can, can of corn. corn. She can't. She okay, because y'all did see the bad side. boys in the back, back in the day. Oh, yeah. Remember, oh, remember she, bad boys? No, boy it's still she rides with it to this day. That's hilarious. She wrote some chicks was in traffic talking crazy. Time my bitch pull over. They was like, "You by yourself, bitch, pull over." She was like, "Okay." Beat both of them up with a can of corn. I've heard of, um, <laughs> a, you get you a couple of Pepsis in the uh, pillowcase. But they gonna bust. You get somebody hard enough. I mean, it don't matter. They, they might be thirsty. Be like, <laughs> <laughs> right? They they head busted. You lick that Pepsi up off the ground. See, I wouldn't use Pepsi because Pepsi my favorite drink. But yeah, that's how you watch Bad Boys back in the day. They put the boy kept getting the pops, and then he put them in the pillowcase, and he fought them boys in jail. I was like, oh, he got them motherfuckers. It's solid. That TN ain't going to crack. But I'll just be telling my kids. And like Poltergeist, so you know, Poltergeist came and messed up the house. I said, y'all would have got a whooping for this shit. There's no way that you would have been able to tell me when I got in the room, oh, mama, a ghost did this shit. You know, Poltergeist would fuck your whole shit up. They had the toys swirling. I'd have walked in that room and been like, what the fuck are y'all doing? If y'all don't get these toys down off the ceiling and clean this damn room up, somebody get their ass whooped. This clown getting his ass whooped in the corner. Get these toys up. Y'all got me fucked up. Get this shit in the closet. We just moved here. I'm about to lose my deposit because y'all fucking, y'all got alternate universes and shit in the closet. How am I going to get my deposit back and y'all got a whole universe in the closet? I'm losing my deposit. That. That's not. That's worse than a hole in the wall. Yeah, it is. So I would have been checking my motherfucking keys. I'm like, let me be in these scary movies. I could rewrite all this shit. I swear. <laughs> Gremlins. 
But it won't be scary if you rewrite it. Well, you're gonna rewrite it will be hilarious, though. Yeah. It will be hilarious. Gremlins is roaches. Gremlins ain't nothing, but if you don't wipe up your crumbs and you live in the hood. Yeah. So do y'all believe in aliens? Yes. I I believe there's something I, out there they, other than us. They don't like niggas. Until, she said, oh. <laughs> until I come across one personally, then... I don't believe stay in your lane. I, 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 I don't believe my neighbor across street talk to, to aliens. I swear to God, come on, come on my block, white white guy. Come on my block about one, two, three o'clock in the morning. You gonna see, you gonna see, you ain't gonna see him, but you are gonna see a, this little light in the sky just doing like Morris code, like like this. What? And I'm he sitting there, and, and then he be talking. He be saying he talking to NASA. I be like, hey, I about what? what? But see, I be like, hey, what are you talking about? Your friend, just in case they you know, because my my, them, my, okay. my middle daughter, she got to be outside about five something in the morning and be dark. You know, and I be standing in the door, so if something's happening to grab her, I'm just gonna close the door like I'm not that parent to go uh, out there and help. No, like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> baby, I'm they got not you. We gonna have you a nice room, baby. I'm sorry. You just gonna let take take the baby? Alien. She gone. Now the alien, I whoop an alien. We're not going to. I like aliens. I, 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 I still got three other kids. Yeah. Sharks, <laughs> alligators, child molesters. I, I fight all that shit not about my kids. Molesters. Other children mm -hmm. can get yeah, fought. I fight a kid. I, I, I fight a kid. Okay, so everybody on the but page, they, no, they, they will like fight no children I, about I, their I, children. I, I have to go to the I'm closet. I'm going to be at the door like, no, don't take her. My baby growing up in the sky and just going to but how around. come aliens never visit no niggas? I mean, so y'all don't got no alien weed. I don't want weed. no alien to visit me. I do because y'all might have alien technology and maybe I can make my hair grow like this and Girl. I don't have to have no weed. <laughs> you might just put your little alien finger on me and I got Brazilian hair. You hair like them. They ain't got no damn hair. I don't know what they, 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 they would have been done gave them some hair. If they was going to give you some. enough, I would be the bitch talking to the alien. So where are you from? I mean, okay, so you were from what planet? I mean, so do you got a business? <laughs> what you do? She's trying what to do you, What you You do alien feet? Oh, okay. You, are, some you do alien, alien pedicures? You know what I'm saying? You got to network with the alien. <laughs> I'll be their bartender. So a bitch I had a motherfucker's drug. They going to be flying and, and crashing. And, and, and then, then you know they going to send some bitch. <laughs> oh, you know, she wants to do comedy. Want? So it? it's going to be an alien that wants to do comedy. They'll probably inbox me. Oh, yeah. Zerk, he wanted to do some jokes. Is okay, so I can you help the aliens with jokes. Yeah, you, they probably going to send somebody. You don't want us to know. And you go, no, not yet, because they don't visit niggas. You know what I mean? I'm black. So. I don't want. They Nothing haven't come to visit. No other species to come see me. They haven't checked on me, but like I probably would you network. Species? No, like, I, mm, have you ever been to Gen Con? Gen Con? No, no I don't go. To I, I see. I got. I got have weird alternative kids, so I would probably talk to an alien. An alien. He probably would land in my yard. Like this bitch, she she gonna be cool with me. She's gonna talk to me, and I would. What you doing here? Where you from? That's your shit. That's nice. Well, I'm gonna talk to the motherfucker if it's gonna save my life. Do you got some weed? Uh, he might have some alien see, weed that I ain't never smoke. seen you before. Might, you might not want that. And that alien get a different type of high. Have you then they gonna probe just you with your body. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, like then it. they gonna probe you. I like this little girl anyway. Like, 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 yo. <laughs> like that back. <laughs> Upside down fly. I, like I, don't, I don't want all that. They're going to say, you did a show at Flappers. Okay, we got a few more Not minutes. We're going to end at 10, 15. Let me tell you what I was thinking about. So, like, I'm in, into church. This is the final question. If y'all get cremated, what if you get to heaven and you be like, God, be like, you don't got no earthly body, you burn it up. Ooh. So you just got picked from, like, a template or something. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you Cause like I I don't want to spend a lot of money on my funeral. I'm like, why would you spend three thousand dollars in the castle, a little box for me to be in? You could just burn me up and throw me in the Pacific or throw me in Jamaica or something. But, you know, just but I don't want to get to heaven and not have nobody. I want to. It just depends on what I don't, don't, don't want to get burned up just so you can get these riches from my dead ass. I'm not leaving money, nothing. I told my kids, I ain't ain't nothing. Get your own money. I don't got none. So what you got? <laughs> Ain't no life insurance. <laughs> shit, cremate me. That's why I'm talking cremate. I ain't need the shit. I don't know. I think I'm going to go. So cremate. I saw a long and hard. Oh, that's body. probably like 300. They be having on, on the commercial. Go the way it's it is. It's going to fall apart the ashes anyway. It is. Shit. It is. And I want to be in the so, ocean. I don't know. I, do I like to travel. No. And see, I'll get to heaven and I won't have nobody. They'll be like, you don't got no legs. 
You ain't gonna have nothing. You get cremated. You just you not even gonna make it to heaven. Your soul is gone already. I mean, but it's cheaper. She's, your soul don't burn. Your soul is going up or down. Either way it goes, your body's not going nowhere. My child. That's what I'm saying. Your body's not going nowhere. It's your soul. Well, you need a sass in heaven, or will God just make you like high all the time? Your soul. It's just your spirit. You don't have. Here's my other question. They say so you walk when around you, heaven. When you get to really heaven, will you spirit. need some weed or a drink, or will God just make you your body feel good all the time? I think God likes the art of rolling up. The art of you know what? what? I ain't going to hell with y'all. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to hell with y'all. I'm going to sit because this because conversation. If, because if you look at it, you know, every utensil that you use to smoke weed with, except for, I mean, even blunts, you It's made from earthly, earthly material. Heavenly goods. Yeah, please and thank you, God. It, 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 was, it was for us to engineer it, but God, but it, it's 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 of God's making. You know, this building wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the natural herbs, you know, trees and things like that that God has bestowed really upon not. us. Where does that come with cremation? I'm just saying. I'm just saying <laughs> they just about you. asked about weed. <laughs> And so I just think that, you know, I think I'm God close created. to the Lord, and the Lord don't have no problem with me having questions because He knows what we own. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> he, he had the right to ask any question that and you I'm just like, so I Lord, just didn't know how we went to the cremated to be in high. Yeah. Oh, okay. So if y'all burn me when I when I die, I ain't doing shit you to you. That, I'm gonna go to jail. I mean, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to hell because I'm gonna burn you. My brother told us that. That's what my grandma said. Twenty five cents, bury me and just burn me and bury me in the backyard. Now I done committed a crime. Niggas, you think I'm getting ready to pay for that? No, it's called disrespecting a body or something. I seen that charge on one of them court shows I be watching. It's it's called something when you don't dispose of a body right. They couldn't convict this man of a murder, but they could prove he had disposed of a body or something. And it wasn't at a cemetery or more, so I'm they not gave gonna him light no fire to mm-hmm. you, and I'm not gonna pay nobody to light one to you. I might have to scrape and scrounge around to get you put in, but I'm gonna get you. Put I'm in. talking my kids, you know. I mean, don't don't do no chicken dinners or nothing. Just go cheap as possible. I don't need to have no be dazzled, you know. Girl, you going with a <laughs> hope? Hopeless. The kids was like, we sell the tickets on Eventbrite, and I'm like, no, okay, damn. Yeah. Come see my mama last show. So. Right. <laughs> no, I'm dead. Play her video. She's going to have a mic in her head with her hope lips. <laughs> <laughs> Put a little sack right in there. My little Put comedy notebook, and I got on to heaven and keep on writing. But yeah. Mike Shaw, he rushing us and stuff. We started like, we only took one there. work, so normally, you know. I know. Things went so fast, and we had guests and stuff. We always have guests every week. So, if y'all need to come on the show. Y'all got an event coming up. Um, y'all have a business that you're opening. Come contact us. Y'all don't have to come on the Lifestyle Night Party. We got like eight different shows. Each one has its own initiative, its own oh. fan base. Inbox the page. We'll find out what you're doing, and we'll match you with the show that's best for you. Newbie Radio got some a couple of events coming up. Ooh. I think the very next show coming up is um, Fix It Fridays with Don and um, Michelle Island Jordan. The Island Girl. Yeah, so that's Newbie. And... <laughs> We'll Thank y'all for tuning in. We need that massage information. Tuesdays, yes. tell us. Uh, every Tuesday is Terrific Tuesday, so you receive a 30-minute chair massage for just $20. This is every Tuesday. You can follow me on um, Facebook at Lenses Healing Hands. I'm on Instagram, Lenses Healing Hands. Um, healing without the G. So every Tuesday. Um, I, I, I am also... Um, Booking for holiday parties mm. that started um, happening. So if you are interested in hosting a party, it doesn't have to so much be a holiday party. But um, if you're interested in hosting a party, um, girls' night, me. camper yeah. me party, I'm, I'm the next happy. comedy show. I used to have that. You, you know, Mr. Testimony and Creep. No. Okay. Well, they used to come, and I had a male and a female at the comedy show. So as the comedy show's going on, they're in the back giving massages. So. Go ahead and get another comedy show coming up. And then, you know, I've been in an accident. So, 
I mean, yeah. one, at my job, they did pay for us to get massages at I our desk. That. So how did that go? I, it went good. It was cool, but it wasn't Lindsay's healing hand. No, so I was no. just kind of like, it feel good, but I don't want to like it because you really ain't my friend <laughs> like that. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure, I mean, I, I wanted to like it, but I, I did a little bit. I, I didn't like, like it that much. I also do um, peppermint foot detox. So I um, need one of them. That is, a lot of people don't understand, but you have toxins, and the peppermint foot detox um, removes and soaks out the toxins in your organs. And Ooh. to be honest, so you're detoxing your organs. So, so like, if you've had, if you've had, if you've had um, dialysis, my mother's on dialysis. That's yeah, why I know. Like, you would need to get it. If you like me and you drink a couple of beverages once a week, you might need to get it. Yeah. I know I've had one, and I felt physically better the next day. I felt like my body was running cleaner. Right. It's almost like if you got a car and you have a gas tank, you know how you put the gas yeah. the engine cleaner? Yeah. 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 And your car be riding fast. You're like, ooh, it feel like I got a new tune-up on this. That's how I feel when you get in the foot. Right, side. yeah. So um, there's two different... Uh, detox prices there's one's $25 and then there's another that's $40 the $40 you receive a foot massage with the with the detox is the whole time how long a massage you get um, cause like so when dudes do it they do it two minutes and then they be trying to suck your toes you know how they do you know how they do this, this ain't that type of party <laughs> um, but I, I'll let you sit for however long you want to so there's you don't I don't charge you per the minute um, for the for the foot detox, so it's twenty five dollars or forty dollars. Let me ask you this: So I was in a car accident. Mm -hmm. Do you provide services to people that have been in accidents? Like, do you have invoices and stuff that you can provide to provide to your insurance company uh, and say I've gotten this treatment? Right now, I don't. Almost. I don't. Coming Almost. soon for twenty eighteen. Yes. yes, yes, most definitely. I need most that. Hey, receipt book. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I want to spend my dollars with you. My back, they said my shoulder mm -hmm. was off of alignment. My shoulder wasn't right. Do you go see a chiropractor? Well, I haven't. The okay. accident was probably like two weeks ago. Okay. So I got some uh, health care spending account dollars. Oh, okay. And then my, I have insurance. I, I work hard so I can have full coverage insurance mm -hmm. in my car. So, yeah. We'll talk about that behind the scenes. Thank okay. you for coming down and joining oh, no us. You have been one of our me. biggest supporters. Oh. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned happen. for the next Diamonds for or Forever. Yes. Stay tuned for the next. Shamala is going to have a book coming out. I am going to have a, a third one. I'm talk about a, it. I'm going to have a third one. Like in year A third the, book? You already, read it, you already wrote it and everything? Yeah, like two weeks. She wrote it on books. her lunch break. You're not, the, <laughs> you're not the only one. It's actually my book and Antonia's book. And my book inside of You're Not the Only One is called To the Younger Me. Okay. So it's going to be a branch off from To the Younger Me after I wrap up everything with When a Woman's Fed Up. Okay. So about January. I really admire you. I'm so inspired. Thank you. Because, I mean, yeah, I can't get a paragraph together. I want to write a book about myself and my life, but I just, huh. We're going to do an artist, an uh, author episode, too, because there's a lot of people that want to know about the information and how they got started with a book. They want to do a book or whatever. I have a great pub. My, the, the second book is with um, my publisher. Mm -hmm. So, and she has her own publishing company. What company is it? J, um, it's Mo, J. Mosley Publishing. Well, maybe we need to get her in for an interview. Oh, yeah. I can, um, matter of fact, I'll, I'll text her tonight. Okay, definitely. Yeah, we would love to do that. Tanya, do you have anything to add or cover before we close? No, I don't. Thanks, everybody, for attending the comedy show this past Sunday. Yeah. Thanks to all the comedians that came out. And continue to support. because We love y'all. Y'all need us for an event? Hit us up or hit Mo High. I got one shout out. Um, shout out to my man, uh, LaShawn Minor Jr., man. He's playing at IU. Um, he's a freshman. We Shout love out. IU. We oh, are, right. I got an IU alumni in my house. I got, I got two then. Tragic is over at the Sky Bar tonight doing his uh, album release party. And then shouts out to my cousin Garrett Hodges who just had his first grandbaby. All right, all right, all right. All right. We love shout outs, birthdays. If y'all got, got good wings, I'm looking for chicken right now. Y'all good knees over next week, holler. We'll talk about that because that place you went last with was whack. They took forever.